Hi there, my name is Quinn. I go by Quinn for the win and I am just thrilled that you're here because I'm about to teach you how to process your pains in a healthy way. And it's going to be a formula that I use every single time when I'm in pain. And I just want to give a shout out to my life partner because he really inspired this formula that you're about to see. So if you're having pains, what you know, emotionally or mentally, or it's a pain involving you not feeling like yourself lately. Maybe it's a physical pain. You're experiencing pain in your body somewhere um, or a financial pain. Any kind of pain you guys, you guys can use this with. So let's get started. So I really invite you to use a healthy outlet to process your pains. So right now I'm writing it out, right? So I invite you to write out your pains and, and, and the steps that I'm about to show you, or you can meditate along with this formula. You can jog during applying this formula. You can stretch applying this formula. You guys get it? So any kind of healthy outlet with this formula is going to enhance your experience. All right, guys. So the first thing, what is it that you believe that we need to do? with anything, with transforming from one state to another. You guys probably know it already. It starts with an A. It's having awareness. How are you feeling? What kind of emotions are coming up? Is this a pain, a physical pain? What kind of pain is it? So once you've identified that pain, you're ready to move on to the next stage. And it is to reflect and ask questions. So for an example, ask questions. When I was going through my breakup, every single morning, I started to become aware of how negative my mindset was, how the negative thoughts were just swarming and how much I was beating myself up and I was just cycling through the horrible things that's happening to me. And I stayed in that for a really long time, you guys. It wasn't until I started reflecting and asking myself questions like, what is it that I need to do to stop feeling this way? Or why am I feeling this way? Where is this coming from? So from doing so, you're going to come here where you have a realization of where those pains are coming from, why it's happening, for an example, and you are having your answers come through for you. So using the same example, I'm realizing that I have been putting myself last. I haven't been expressing myself in a healthy way. I've been keeping it up inside and I have been projecting my pains out. And that is not healthy. And with that realization, my answer is I need to start doing something good for myself to take off the focus from focusing on all the negative things that was happening to me. So as I have those answers, I need to act on it, right? We can have all the answers, all the realizations, but your life won't start transforming until we act on it. So my action looks like, oh, I need to journal more often so that I can release my pains in a healthy way. I need to focus on things that really matter that's going to make me better into a better person so that I am not caught in that that trap of where it's just going to suck me back into beating myself up and having all these negative thoughts. So once I focus on what's important, journal more, find more healthy out outlets to go to, I'm going to experience a different result in how I am feeling. So it's really how you're feeling after if you're feeling proud or better about yourself from the beginning, you have just processed your pains. You have just transformed a pain into a healthy experience for yourself. And in the next time you're aware of the same pain, you already know what to do. You already know what to do. And maybe a new pain comes up. And now you're aware of other things, right? Because right when we open up the, uh, the box of our pains, when we say yes to opening that door of all the pains that we have neglected to take care of, more awareness is going to come through, you guys. 
And as you're going through this, it's going to be really easy to do something. You guys know what that is? We beat ourselves up. We talk shit to ourselves. Unfortunately, we're masters at this. So throughout this whole entire process, what holds us together, what's going to keep you going along this journey is to bring self compassion. If you've been following me for a while, you know, it's about becoming your own inner best friend. So as you're being kind to yourself through this process, you're going to find yourself feeling stronger and more aligned with who you are as you process your pains every single day. So let me know your thoughts down below. Um, I am, I am so excited for you guys to use this for yourself. And I really invite you to put this up somewhere in your room, put this somewhere where you can go to when you're in pain so that you already are going through this process and coming out of it, feeling better than how you were feeling before. So if you guys have any questions or perhaps you have started on this and there's a block, you don't know what that block is. Let me know. I would love to help you. And other than that, once again, congrats to you. Congrats to saying yes to getting better and becoming your own best friend. I will see you the next time I see you.